I want to show you a way that at least I find more useful to subtract numbers in my head. And I do it this way, not, it's not necessarily faster on paper, but it allows you to remember what you're doing. Because if you start borrowing and stuff, it becomes very hard to remember what's actually going on. So let's try out a couple of problems. Let's have 9,456 minus 7,589. So the way I do this in my head, I say that 9,456 minus 7,589. You have to remember the two numbers. So the first thing I do is I say, well, this is, what's 9,456 minus just 7,000? Right? That's pretty easy. Because I just take 9,000 minus 7,000. So what I can do is I'll cross out this, and I'll subtract 7,000 from it, and I'm going to get 2,000. 456. So in my head, I tell myself that 9,456 minus 7,589 is the same thing as, if I just subtract out the 7,000, as 2,456 minus 589. Right? I took the 7,000 out of the picture. I essentially subtracted it from both of these numbers. Now, if I want to do 2,500. 2,456 minus 589, what I do is I subtract 500 from both of these numbers. So if I subtract 500 from this bottom number, this 5 will go away. And if I subtract 500 from this top number, what happens? What's 2,456 minus 500? Or an even easier way to think about it, what's 24 minus 5? Well, it's 19. So it's going to be 1,900, 1,956. Let me scroll up a little bit. So it's 1,956. So my original problem has now been reduced to 1,956 minus 89. Now I can subtract 80 from both that number and that number. So if I subtract 80 from this bottom number, the 8 disappears. right? 89 minus 80 is just 9. And I subtract 80 from this top number, I can just think of, well, what's 195 minus 8? Well, 195 minus 8, let's see, 15 minus 8 is 17. So 195 minus 8 is going to be 187. And then you still have the 6 there. So essentially, I said 1956 minus 80 is 1876. And now my problem has been reduced to 1876 minus 9. And then we can do that in our head. What's 76 minus 9? That's what, 67. So our final answer is 1867. And as you can see, this isn't necessarily faster than the way we've done it in other videos. But the reason why I like it is that at any stage, I just have to remember two numbers. I have to remember my new top number and my new bottom number. And my new bottom number is always just uh, some of the leftover digits of the original bottom number. So that's how I like to do things in my head. Now, just to make sure that we got the right answer, and maybe to compare and contrast a little bit, let's do it the traditional way. 9,400. And 56 minus 7,589. So the standard way of doing it, I like to do all my borrowing before I do any of my subtractions so that I can stay in my borrowing mode. Or you can think of it as regrouping. So I look at all of my numbers on top and see, are they all larger than the numbers on the bottom? And I start it here at the right. 6 is definitely not larger than 9, so I have to borrow. So I'll borrow 10, or I'll borrow 1 from the tens place, which ends up being 10. So the 6 becomes a 16, and then the 5 becomes a 4. Then I go to the tens place. 4 needs to be larger than 8. So let me borrow 1 from the hundreds place. So then that 4 becomes a 14, right? Or 14 tens, because we're in the tens place. And then this 4 becomes a 3. Now these two columns or places look good, but right here I have a 3, which is less than a 5. Not cool, so I have to borrow again. That 3 becomes a 13, and then that 9 becomes an 8. And now I'm ready to subtract. So you get 16 minus 9 is 7. 14 minus 8 is 6. 13 minus 5 is 8. 8 minus 7 is 1. And lucky for us, we got the right answer. And now, you know, I want to make it very clear. There is no better way to do this. The, this way is actually kind of longer and takes up more space on your paper than this way was. But this 
for me, is very hard to remember. It's very hard for me to keep track of what, what I borrowed and what the another number is, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. But here, at any point in time, I just have to remember two numbers. And the two numbers get simpler every step that I go through uh, this process. So this is why I think that this is a little bit easier in my head. But this might be, depending on the context, easier on paper. But at least here, you don't have to borrow or regroup. Well, hopefully you find that a little bit useful.